stepping up is Wilson Contreras. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable oh, adjustments cool. at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. The 1-1. One, one. Taken, hey. strike two. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And you can see a bit of a difference there. 96 for one compared to just 89 for the other. So here is Patrick Wisdom struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One, no Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hey. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on-deck circle. Into the corner and slicing foul. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Fouled away. The payoff pitch one more time. He loses no, him it. on ball, ball four. four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first, and that'll bring up the multi-gold lover Jason Hayward. From the stretch. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. Wisdom, base runner at first with one out. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Now the one and one pitch. He's running. Oh. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's, he's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, the offense has been in short supply here tonight, so maybe that bag was aimed at finding another way to generate some runs. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Matty. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home run, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now with seeing a single could be all it takes to push a run across. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. At the plate, Nico Horner. This is foul right side. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Mm -hmm. 
fly ball out to straightaway right. Soler is there, makes the play, and there are two gone now. The bat, number 66. Next, here is number 66. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 1 0. One run, two hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. This no one's one outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. Gets the sign, the two and one. Oh, three. three and one now as that misses down and in. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he fouls this one off. Here's the payoff pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Cubs one and the Braves nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Now here's the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Pitch on the way. And he chased it in the dirt. Up with it, Contreras. And he makes the throw to first. Freeman is retired, and there's one away. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball that's out. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Fly ball right down the line and left. In there, a base hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Blake now, Austin Riley. Yep, and he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 1 0.
Two and one. Mine to the right side. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. In now, Jorge Soler. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One oh count here it is sent on the ground out to second and this is a base hit and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at one. Into the box now Adam Duvall hey. as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. To the plate now, Travis Darno. And he puts it on the ground to second. He's right there. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Braves will settle for just the one. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. First pitch of the A.B. now. Liner towards second. Yeah, and that is through into right and not what you want to do on the mound as he allows the opposing pitcher to reach to lead off the inning. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. Nick Madrigal is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1 0. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. The 1 0 home misses for the second ball. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right hander to get loose. The 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Next up, number 18. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Oh, that's off the plate. And that's inside for a ball, 1 and 0. Nope. 2 and 0 now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. 
Hendricks over at second. Madrigal at first with no outs. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Count even at two and two. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Albies scoops it up and he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Had to protect there with two strikes and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Stepping in now, Ian Happ, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One oh count, here it is. No, that's low. And it's fouled away. The two one home is in there for strike number two. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. Fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back. Pepper. Wilson. Control. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Runners at second and third with two gone. Hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity as that ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. All one. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. The one two swung on in the dirt strike three Contreras recovers and the throw is in time Swanson is retired and there's one away good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there hey also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first that's harder than it looks but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes oh, Guillermo Heredia comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. Hit to short. Fielded cleanly. 
And there are two away now. The left fielder, number eight. Next, it'll be Eddie Rosario, grounded out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1 0. Kind of surprised not to see a fastball on the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. Now here it comes. Ball and two. a fastball upstairs here that runs it to 2-0. and oh. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Bases are empty here with two men out. Too tight Ooh, with that one. 3-0. and oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. So next up will be Freddie Freeman as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set the 0 1. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. So he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summersgill at third, and he says no swing. So it's ball one. A one two pitch. Ball, to two now. balls and two strikes now. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Rosario at second with two down. This is line to left. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that will score the run from second as they jump in front now, two to one. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint here. You get the first two out of the inning. The next guy doubles, oh, and then you give up a two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through with a big two-out knob. Owen won the count. A runner on first with two away. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. Chris Martin takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 55, Chris Martin. And now, Patrick Wisdom. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Number 16. First offering. Hey! Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen.
He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Ball, that's out. And two, this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the 2 1 pitch is strike two swinging. I got to count two and two. Two two pitch is fouled away. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. One for two in the ball game thus far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So now to the plate, Nico Horner, as he grounds one briskly to short. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They still trail it here, two to one. Now to the plate, here is Austin Riley. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch on its way. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. The right fielder, number 12. Jorge Stepping in next, Jorge Soler. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Hey. Taken, but called a strike. And he fouls this one off. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Left side. And quickly, there are two away. The center field, number 14. Adam Duvall. Next to hit, Adam Duvall, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. First delivery to him. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Hayward will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead.